Hey, welcome back everyone to the Educated Natural channel. I am super excited to have you joining me today. Now listen, if you're new here, welcome. Please consider being a part of the family. Browse the videos we have on this channel and I can guarantee you one thing, while you are here, you will definitely find something you can apply, if not to your life, definitely to your business. For those of you that are returning, hanging out with us, thank you for being here, fam. Thank you and welcome everyone that's new here as well. Now listen, I know it has been a while, but many of you have been inboxing me and leaving comments under this one particular video. The video I'm referring to had to do with rhinestones. Now, many of you said, Kim, oh my goodness, you have saved me so much money on trying to find a flock alternative. But can you find me a rhinestone alternative? You all are saying you've looked high and low. You have been doing comparison pricing on your rhinestones. And because of the way the economy is going for you personally, you love the look, but you do not like the price. So I thought about it. And although I'm packing up my craft room, getting ready to get up out of here and move, I said, let me shoot a video that will probably be a very good alternative to actual rhinestones. That's right. Save your coins and try something else. Get the look, but at a less cost. Now, for many of you, you love the shininess of the rhinestones. However, like I said earlier, you don't like the price. But what if I told you that you can actually try what's known as faux rhinestones? And that could possibly be a great alternative for you. I mean, you get the look, you get the dots all over the place, like rhinestones, but you kind of save a few dollars in the process. Now, I was sitting over here in my lab, messing around, and I discovered something that also may be a solution for some of you as well. Some of you, especially you seasoned rhinestoners out there, you have shared that sometimes your silhouette or your cricket doesn't quite cut the circles round. They may be oval, they may be oblong, they're just, they're just not round circles like you need in order to sweep your rhinestones in. Well, with faux rhinestones, you don't have to worry about that because you're not doing any type of sweeping. <laughs> so it doesn't matter about the brush you use and you don't even have to really worry about too much because what I'm about to show you is something I just did and I truly hate that I didn't show you how it cut, but you will definitely see something very unique about what I'm about to show you. You see, many of you that's probably been following me for a while, you know I have the Silhouette Cameo. And in a previous video, you all asked, how do I get my circle so clean? Well, I don't use the auto blade or any of the Silhouette blades that come with the machine. What I have done is I use the CB09 blade to do the cutting for me. And I have to admit, since using this particular blade, I haven't had any circle cutting issues, okay? So if you're having issues with cutting your circles, whether you're using a Cricut or a Cameo, doesn't matter which version, you definitely should consider getting a CB09 blade. And I'm going to show you in my test I've been doing over here as to why this blade is the blade of all blades when it comes to cutting out those circles you need for rhinestone designs. Now this goes true for real rhinestone designs as well as what I'm about to show you me testing out today. Now to save your ears, I did not record while the cameo was cutting because let's just be honest, that's a bit loud, <laughs> okay? So I wanted to save your ears. However, I have something to show you. So if you love the shiny look of rhinestones, but you want to save a few dollars in the meantime, check this out. Let me head over to my other camera and I got something to show you. Ready? Let's go. All right, so I'm at my second table. So I'm going to turn around here. All right. So let's see what I've been working on. So I just told you 
that I had already cut this out. This, my friends, is actually Caesar Electric HTV. That's right. If you love the shiny look that's a little subtle, try Caesar Electric. The unique thing about this is that it cuts perfectly and it has a little shine to it. So I'm going to show you as I peel this HTV away from its carrier sheet, just how easy it is to get that full rhinestone look without the real rhinestone price. All right, let's see what we got. This is just a test. You guys are going to just roll with me, okay? All right, where is my, where's way over here? Got my weeder. All right, make sure you guys can see here. Okay, let's take this apart. All right. Can you guys see that? Let me turn this around so you can see how I'm peeling this off. Wow, look at that. It's coming right off. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see and make sure I'm in the camera. All right. Nice. Very easy. Circles are looking excellent. Now, the unique thing about using HTV is you can make the circles any size you want to, and it's not constrained to the size of rhinestones. That's one thing I do like. So if you want the circle smaller, you can make them smaller. If you want them bigger, you can make them bigger. But as you can see, this is coming off nice and easy here. And then the one thing I absolutely love is those dots are not all over my mat. <laughs> that you do, that you get when you use rhinestone flock, the pesky dots. Now, as you can see here, pretty clean, right? Look at that. It says respect required. Now, I just quickly designed this in, um, in Silhouette. And so I use Silhouette Studio and I have the business edition. So this is how I just kind of threw this kind of together because I wanted to see if this would even work. I didn't want to waste my time putting a whole full design and it just does not work. Now I wasted time and HTV. But as you can see, that's pretty clean. Do y'all see those circles? Let me put up a little bit closer so you can see. Do you see how rounded those are? Wow. I'm impressed. And this, like I said, is Caesar Electric. You can see how it's shiny. Okay. You could actually, believe it or not, take this and put it on your shirt, cut it evenly and just put it on your shirt, just like this, if you like this type of look. So you get two for one. All right, let's flip this over, let's see what we got. And there you are, the rhinestone look without all the rhinestones. Not bad, not bad at all, look at that. And now all you have to do is take this over to your heat press, put it at 305, for about 15 seconds, press it down like you would do just regular CZ electric HTV, press it down and you're in money. Look at this. And it's gonna have a little shine to it. It's gonna look absolutely great. So I'm gonna go find a piece of scrap cloth and I'm just gonna press this down so you guys can see not bad at all. So hang tight. Let's head over to the heat press. made it back from the heat press as you saw in that short clip a few moments ago now let's see what we got let's check out these circles and the shininess of course here we are 
This is using, like I said earlier, the Caesar Electric HTV. Look at those circles. Look at how nice and crisp those circles are. Do y'all see how crisp that is? Let me put it a little closer so you can see. Get all into that. Do you see how crisp that looks? Perfect round circles. Now I know my camera is not gonna do it justice. So the, the shine is not gonna show up to it, but it's there, trust me, it is there. Now let's face it, a piece, a 12 by 12 piece, or should I say sheet of Caesar Electric HTV will run you between three to $5. Depends on where you get it at, right? Now, the, lo the lovely thing about using an HTV versus using a flock and cutting out flock, the price difference is <laughs> astronomical. <laughs> there is no comparison. So if you're on a tight budget, but you still want that rhinestone look, the shine, the luxury look and feel, you can't beat your favorite shiny HTV. Now, I use Caesar Electric because it was all I had on hand. I kind of went to my scrap pile and found the shiniest thing I had. I'm all out of glitter. So I used this just to see how it would come out. And it came out great. It looks like rhinestones, right? Looks like I have rhinestones on my shirt, but I don't. And had I had a piece of glitter or holographic, it would have been the same great look and feel and definitely cheaper in price. So if you want that look, find your favorite piece of HTV, the shinier, the better, and go from there. Now, like in my last video, I showed you what it looks like when you cut out car, um, cardstock using cardstock for those of you that would like to use actual rhinestone versus the HTV. You missed that video, I will link it here. But if you know, like I know, the economy is fickle right now, you still want to look great, you still want to be classy and all of that, but maybe your pockets could use a little bit of relief. And using HTV, to create that faux rhinestone look is a great alternative. So if you have glitter laying around, use it. But remember, the key to getting these crisp circles lies in the blade that you use. In a previous video, I share with you the exact blade that I use to get these perfect circles every single time. So if you want these crisp, perfect circles, you can see them here. I put it up close so you can get a real good look. Let's see. See how good those circles look? Do you see that? Perfect circles every single time. They're not oval. They're not oblong. They are perfect circles. And the great thing about using HTV versus using flock is you can make the circle smaller or bigger until your heart content. There, you are not restrained to the size of the rhinestone. So you can cut it out as an SS6 size. You can cut it out as an SS16 size if you want to. It's all what you prefer. And the great thing also about this is you actually get two for one. Not only once you finish doing the cutting do you get the actual dots, but you also can repurpose the HTV. Like, how cool is this? Look at that. I could take this if I wanted to get a great pair of scissors that have the little teeth on them and I could cut real creative around it, right? All the way around it, make it look real cool and cute and then take this whole piece that's left and then put it on an arm, like on a sleeve. You could put it across the front of a shirt. You could put it on a bag and match that with your shirt that you match this with a bag, put this on a bag. Two for one, can't beat it. You can't do that with flock and you can't do that with card stock, but you definitely can do that with HTV. <laughs> so find your shiniest piece of HTV and apply it and enjoy your new look 
at way past or over half the cost, okay? So this has been another alternative method for creating that rhinestone look without paying that rhinestone price. So if this has been helpful to you and has given you some ideas, I invite you to leave me a like as well as a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are on this. And if you've tried it, let me know. I would love to, if you did a video, I would love to go see it. I would love to collaborate with you and tell you how well this is. And I'm going to try other things and see how well that works. <laughs>